Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Hero Factory review, and today's a witch is on a Furno and Break and Jaw Blade of Breakout from 2012. Of <coughs> so, on the front of the bags, you see a picture of the sets that come within and underwater, of course, and also the two logos, obviously, and also the zippers of the showing that it's a ziplock bag, of course, and also on the side see the names over some caution tape and also two to three hundred game points for the online game and that or that there was and choking hazard and age group set number and the amount of pieces and from the back you see a picture another picture of them and showing the features of it of them Oops. And also pics of the online game that there was, and also usual warnings and whatnot. And now onto the booklet, which same pictures as on the front of the bags and everything. And on that, how to win on the online survey. And then out of Lego Club and out of the two sets, of course. And then also the combiner model that they make together and whatnot. And all the pieces that come with the set, of course, in the last step. And also another ad of them on the online game. To start out with is with the small, smaller villain set, a uh, jaw blade, of course. So, okay. Which, as you see, one of the first uh, shark character, since he a shark character for this wave, of course. One of the only times we've been introduced to this kind of feel in Break or in Hero Factory, of course. See, interesting different build to it. As, but as for like, like the tail fin with, or the back part, which have those wing pieces from the 2008 Bonacle Mystica set, of course. And also, which did carry on into uh, Akita, Creature of Water, in Generation 2 Bonacle in 2016, of course, and also some more of those pieces is on there as well and also for no 3.0's uh, wing blade pieces which acting as back fins of course although in the Nickelodeon episode short episode of course there's he kind of uses those as legs or sort of bit like legs of course when they were breaking out obviously and also for to get a six long armor piece in trans red, which nice for mocking, of course, and also one of full 3.0 was in one of the 3.0 armor add on pieces in silver, which and also do get another one of those wing pieces acting for the jaw part of it, which goes up and down like so, and also Makuta Bittal and Gorast's uh, foot piece, also from the Mystica line, of course. But for a bomb jaw core as well. And also for the headpiece of which, if I take this off, you see, same piece that the Toxic Reaper also had for the eyes going on. And as you see, of which very shark like, which you can definitely use with some shark character mocks and all. And also some extra greebles to it, which probably suiting to that Hero Factory, of course. And now onto the arms of which, which are kind of short for it, and also with the uh, shorter piece in black and or in red, sorry, and the hand piece in black, and also for an 1.0's uh, 
Shooter Blades, of course, but in red for that. Kind of nice for mocking, of course. See, kind of the same effect that uh, Fire Lord once had. Didn't, yeah. Oh, but also a neat thing is, since these two are underwater, they're, at one point there was supposed to be a series of sets called Rampant Ocean. Is where they were underwater, of course, but that of which never came to be, but and instead it became breakout and or I mean brain attack and then invasion from below obviously. Also it would have been nice if that was around, but yeah. But I'm sure some of you mockers can kinda make sets or figures based upon that, but yeah. And now on to Verno, of course. Oops. Or rather, fourth version of Ferno is for, is for this time around. It's kind of questionable since he a red fire character but is underwater, but the two are kind of like the complete opposite. I, although I think maybe Surge or Breeze could have done so, but yeah. So let's look in it. So, like his lower legs. Which which are the longer limb pieces since he's one of the taller hero sets of this wave and also those larger armor pieces in red of which great for mocking of course and also color scheme of red kind of now clashes with a little white to it which Breeze also does have and of course one side is holding his uh, handcuffs for that and onto his chest plate piece, which as you see is the same as the other sets of which, but with some flames printed on there, or of course, and also same core piece as hero core as the other hero sets had, and but with the coat on the back of it, of course. And for this armor, which which I kind of don't understand why they had to put this savage plant piece on there and this piece on top of that. Really don't know why they did that, but whatever. Although I think it should have been like completely sym symmetric with this arm, of course, which would have been better, but yeah. And also for this armor, which do have five long armor piece in translucent orange. It's just like we've had with Jet Bug in the prior year, of course. And for his, oh, which we see the two new launcher pieces, but in red, which also nice for mocking, and on top of them is this little uh, spear piece from Castle and whatnot. But in this case, used as a harpoon, which in the short episode, it was used as a harpoon and, and not at all launched this sphere of it, of course. And as for the uh, head and helmet pieces, of which all the same as what the two versions of Furno 1.0 once had. Well, of course, there was the standalone version and the version of in the Furno bike set. Same piece of which for that. And the upper part of which is these like cylinder pieces with turbines on them. And also, you get traditional two pieces that connect onto his back, of course since of course it's to propel him through the water and if he was in but since he was supposed to be in a uh, rampant the canceled series rampant ocean so i think he's he and all the heroes could have had that but that's just me and uh what else is there to say not much but at least it's quite great that he is that he and three other sets of this wave are in this size, unlike with Evo and Surge, which are the traditional, usual size of hero sets, but at least it's just like how Bonacle Toa ended up becoming, and probably what heroes should be like, since he can really take on anything with that in this range of size, and yeah. And so now, on to the final work.
So now, overall, I think they which are quite cool sets of 2012, of course. Like, a couple of good recolors of pieces, and a couple few new pieces, obviously. And also, good return of some, or in the case of Joply, good return of some pieces from the uh, 2008 Bonko Mystica range, of course. And also with Verno. Uh, and kind of, at least, great to see him in larger size than the other heroes, of course. There's, and also, although he could have been a little bit different and better, but I can forgive it. And yeah. And so now if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay Bricklink, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.